Aloha everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And if you're already subscribed, thanks so much for being here and welcome back. Today I am so, so excited to share a new box for the channel with you. It is called Yogi Secret. And some of you may already know from different videos that I've done before that I am actually a yoga instructor. I have been for the past 10 years. For obvious reasons, I haven't been actively teaching in a studio for the past few months, but yoga is an important part of my life. And I just wanna remind everyone that whether or not you've ever done yoga before, so often I always hear people say, I can't do yoga because I'm not flexible or I don't have a yoga body, but yoga isn't about already being flexible. It's about finding that flexibility and balance both in the physical and mental sense. It's about finding a sense of balance and just remember that yoga has so many different forms, so many different styles, and it really is for everybody and every space body. doesn't matter what you look like, what sort of shape you're in, you can find some yoga that's going to give you some peace of mind. So this is definitely a lifestyle box. It's meant to elevate your yoga practice, whatever that looks like for you. It may be the actual asana. It may be a meditation practice. It may be doing your kind of mental yoga out in the garden or finding that space where you just take time to breathe. This particular box is $39.95 per month and I've been watching it for quite some time so I'm very excited to be able to share it with you and hopefully in the future I'll be able to continue sharing it with you and maybe even get a promo code so you can give it a shot as well. If you ever have questions about yoga or the style that I teach you can definitely ask me in the comments. I will probably not be doing any yoga classes here on this channel. That's just not something that I'm looking to do in the near future um, so don't ask that but if you have any questions about styles of yoga I'm happy to chat with you all right let's get into this fun pink box so on the top I'm just seeing some brown foozles and then this little turtle and it just says tis the season to be plastic free so some of you may know that July is considered plastic free July where we're supposed to sort of reduce our plastic use which is I think a good thing to do year-round um, and then it just says that all of the products in this particular month's box the July box are working towards that idea of being plastic free and i also love the fact that they did include the retail values on this box there are five items and it looks like decent decent value so let me just add everything up um i'm just gonna get my get my phone over here so that i can find my calculator and quickly add everything up to give you the total retail value on this box so it looks like we've got a total retail value of $67, which is not bad on a $40 box. Again, with these smaller subscription companies, you're not gonna necessarily get three to five times your value, but as long as you're getting what you paid, not only does that ensure that you're getting your money's worth, but also then it's kind of okay if maybe one of the items doesn't totally resonate with you. It's usually gonna be something you can pass on to someone else, um, but you're still getting your money's worth then when there is that added value. All right, so like I said, lots of foozles in here. Can't see anything else. Um, we're gonna dive on in and see what we've got. So nicely, they all kind of came off together. And then from that, this is what I'm seeing. So, Let's see, the first thing, it looks like a Moroccan oil conditioner bar. So I haven't actually used a lot of shampoo bars. The packaging is really cute though. It just came not in plastic, of course, just wrapped in twine and paper. Um, but I think that I would be more keen on trying a conditioner bar, especially because I have such long hair and I usually try to condition the ends especially. So I think like just kind of rolling a conditioner bar through there might work really nice. Um, and it just says the retail value on this is $10 and it is a zero waste moisturizing conditioner. And I'm not sure if it says, I guess it just says Root Natural is the, is the brand. So, and then we also have the shampoo bar. So maybe this will actually inspire me to try a shampoo bar because I do like to use products together. And I do like when boxes give us both the shampoo and the conditioner. So it just came in the same sort of packaging. My bow got a little bit untied there but that's a cute little set and that of course also has a retail value of ten dollars so you got that little little set together and it says zero waste refreshing shampoo by root natural just giving them a little smell 
they just smell like soap honestly they smell like pretty fresh actually um not like a really like super soapy bleachy kind of smell but like something nice and fresh it almost kind of smells like a men's cologne which is not not a terrible thing i'm happy to have my hair smell like that all right let's see what else we've got so now we've got this eir nyc cooling butter and it's kind of crazy because it comes in this little canister but it almost looks like like a wheel because this on the outside is like rubbery it's kind of a fun fun color it says a refreshing peppermint luxe balm with arnica arnica is great for like any sort of like muscle aches and things blend of cooling essential oils to invigorate tired bodies massage onto affected areas please store in a cool environment because you don't want it to like to melt and I'm just trying to figure out how you would open this so it just looks like oh so this is like just a little band that keeps it closed it says that there's retails for $24 so this is kind of like the high ticket item in the box a magic balm for sore muscles cuts burns and other small abrasions so you sometimes might get some some sore muscles from yoga if you're doing a more vigorous style but I think all of us can use a good balm I can't seem to open it up here there we go so mine didn't melt, so that's a good sign. It smells really um, eucalyptus-y kind of. Maybe some tea tree oil, I'm not sure. You guys know I'm not like the best with scents. I'm gonna see what it says. Peppermint, I'm smelling the peppermint, some lavender, and there's the tea tree. Oh, and some rosemary. So I'm gonna have to smell it again. Smells good. I like it, so I'll definitely use this. It's just kind of nice when you kind of feel a little bit sore. I've been trying to do a little bit more with weights to kind of tone up my arms and my shoulders, so this might be nice to rub into my shoulders after doing some of those little mini workouts that I managed to make myself do. All right, what else have we got? Um, so this just is coming in this little like muslin bag, little canvas bag. I'm gonna guess. This is the bamboo cutlery set. It says this is a retail value of $18, which honestly does seem a little bit high. We've gotten a lot of bamboo or reusable cutlery sets, but they are really nice to have, and it is nice to have this carrying bag for sure. These ones look a little bit more like hearty than the ones I've gotten in the past. They're like pretty thick. You can kind of see on that fork, there's definitely like some like, I think that's just from the bag not like actual splinters but this this knife has got some serious teeth on it but it's kind of thick so I'm not sure like how well it's gonna cut certain things um, it says they're made in China and then the spoon doesn't have much of an indentation so it's kind of more like a paddle to me than it is like a really like deep spoon to eat like soup with but like if you had like a thicker thicker soup or like your you know your acai bowl or something you're probably going to be able to make it work but they they feel a little bit short the fork tine they're a little bit thick so again I'm not sure how stabby you could get with that um and I wonder if you could actually travel with this if these would be allowed on the plane just because they're wood but they're not metal so maybe you'd have to probably look into TSA to see if that's approved but it says carry this lightweight set at all times to enhance your plastic free journey so I have to admit you guys I'm not super great about being like environmentally free friendly I'm making slow and small changes which I feel like is a pretty good thing I'm pretty good about recycling but I have a lot of reusable straws a lot of reusable cutlery sets but to be honest I haven't really been going anywhere to actually take them with me so I haven't gotten really into the habit and then of course I have all my reusable grocery bags but right now we can't actually take our own grocery bags to the store still so it's going to take a little bit more time for me to form those habits more practice actually using them out in the wild and then we have one more item in the box and this is a reusable bag and it's just branded with ys so it is in hot pink it says this is worth five dollars and it's just a canvas bag now i used to collect these totes like especially when we were traveling so it would be fun if this was actually your initials uh, but to me, this is not like a high value item, especially just because it says YS, which I feel like people are going to wonder what it is. It's also in hot pink, which you guys know, like not a huge fan of pink. Um, I think it would have been cute if it had like, you know, something like yogi friendly, like a like pretty mandala design or like a lotus flower or something that was just less like 
branded like I'm not I'm not one of those people that likes to wear like a lot of labels on my clothing or my bags so for me that's like just kind of an added like bonus it doesn't really add a ton of value to the box even though I will definitely use it um, let me know what you guys think about this box if you'd like to have me continue sharing it with you on the channel like I said it is more of a lifestyle box just because of the name doesn't mean it's only for people who do yoga it's still going to bring a sense of balance to your life whatever your yoga looks like other than that you guys if you appreciate these honest and informative videos and reviews please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you all very very soon in my next unboxing